Today we are at the most wishlisted Airbnb in the state of Michigan. Welcome to the Fernside A-Frame. The Fernside A-Frame is located in Indian River, Michigan, which is about 45 minutes south of the Mackinac Bridge. This Airbnb has been on our list for a while now, and we're excited to share this one with you guys. Airbnb actually came out with a list, and this one was the most wishlisted vacation rental in Michigan. Nestled in a blanket of trees, it blends both seclusion and companionship. As dawn turns to daybreak, there's nothing more pleasant than being drawn from slumber by the sunlight springing through open windows and the sound of gushing water echoing through each surface of the property. That paragraph is directly from the host description of the property. And uh, what more can you say with a description like that? Anyways, let's go check this place out and see everything it has to offer. The Fernside is unmistakable when pulling up to it from the road. The jet black exterior stands out in any season. We are here in winter, obviously, and I was a little worried about how heavy the snow was coming down while I was filming. Um, I had to wipe off my camera a couple of times and it got a little sketchy, but we made it and uh, it made for some unbelievably beautiful shots, so it was worth it. This A-frame is 860 square feet and can accommodate four guests. It has two bedrooms and one bathroom and is located on the scenic Sturgeon River which happens to be one of the fastest flowing rivers in the Lower Peninsula. Actually, I think it is the fastest. I just learned this not too long ago, so that's pretty cool. And we'll get to that in a little bit, but first let's head inside and check out the interior. The second we walked into the Fernside, we were swept by a familiar comforting up north cottage smell. Walking into the first door on your left, you will find the first bedroom, which really sets the tone for the mood and decor that you will find through the rest of the cottage. The doors on the closet have this unique pattern, and then on the other walls, you get a taste of the eclectic decor that makes up Fernside with the Euro mounts and the animal paintings covering the main wall. And then you have this other wall with these massive windows that really brighten up the entire space. Across the hall from this, you have the one bathroom. It's small, but has everything you need. The soaps and the bath products the host provides are top notch. Hunter wanted to get them for our house, but after looking them up, I think we're going to stick to the store-bought soap. But this small, luxurious amenity shows how much thought was put into this cottage. At the end of the hallway, you enter the most magical part about Fernside, the main living area and kitchen. This place immediately sets itself apart with the feeling you get when you walk into the living room. The kitchen here to the right has a full-size refrigerator, range, and plenty of countertop space. It's a thoughtful use of space with the hanging cups and the magnetic knife strip. But my favorite part about this entire area is the dining table and the crystal chandelier above it. I feel like you don't see a combination like this often, and it's a really eye-catching piece that grabs your attention right away. They also have these fishing poles on the wall here, which is super cool. The Sturgeon River is apparently known for its great fishing. I think it's uh, trout is the main fish that people fish on this river, but I could be wrong on that. But it's just nice to see this touch on the wall as well. The other half of this room is the main living area. The cozy colors and the warm lighting mixed with contemporary furniture provide the perfect setting for a relaxing weekend getaway. You have an electric fireplace here and above it, a pair of skis. One thing to note is that this Airbnb actually does not have a TV anywhere in the home, which is a first for me, but really quite nice. It forces you to replace the TV with conversation and something that just adds to the secluded feel of this cottage. The coffee table here also is really modern along with the chairs and lamps. In the host description, they credit a local interior designer for a lot of the decor and it shows here with all of the details throughout the space. The stairs heading up to the loft feature this cheetah print carpet, which is again, a first for me, but I can't imagine a place that could pull this off better than Fernside. The moodiness continues into the loft, and this is where we chose to stay up here and slept really well in these beds. And then you have these huge windows that have triangular curtains, which I think must be custom made, just in case you wanna sleep in a bit in the morning. One of the best parts about any A-frame, in my opinion, is the overlook in the loft of the living area and out of the windows. 
The view from here at Fernside is extra special because of the river flowing within feet of the cottage. So let's head out there now and check out the final area of this property. Walking out the back door, you find yourself on the edge of the gushing Sturgeon River. Not only is this beautiful, but as I mentioned earlier, this is the fastest flowing river in the lower peninsula of Michigan. You can hear the sound of it flowing anytime you're outside. I mean, just listen to this quick clip right here. The deck out here is the perfect spot to sit back and enjoy the view. There is a fireplace and a small gas grill, along with plenty of seating. Unfortunately, with this cold as it is in Michigan right now, we didn't spend too much time outside, but in the summer, you can actually float this river on a tube or kayak and canoe down it uh, if you'd like. Kayaking and canoeing might be a little sketchy just because of how fast the river is, but nonetheless, this area in Michigan is home to two of the largest lakes, Burt Lake and Bullet Lake. So hopefully we can come back here in the summer and experience the summer version of Fernside in the future. The floor to ceiling windows and the black exterior are so stunning, especially with the fresh fallen snow. And I'm sure by now you can see why this place is the most wishlisted Airbnb in Michigan. So that is the Fernside A-frame guys. I took some shots at night too. I'm not sure if they'll capture the the mood of this cabin, but the lighting temperature of all the lamps and the no TV really provides this unique secluded cottage feel. Uh, if I could describe this cottage in one word, it's moody and everything here was designed with a purpose. So it's no wonder why people choose to stay here. Let us know what you think about this cottage in the comment section below. It certainly did not disappoint us. And uh, this one is going to be really, really hard to beat. So thank you for joining us on this tour and we will catch you guys again soon somewhere north of nowhere.